What's up, Crafty Fan? It's Coco here, bringing the best tips, tricks, and tutorials my camera fun affordable. And in today's video, we are testing out four ways that you can make your balloon shine without using traditional balloon shine. This is um, anything that you can find. These are things that you can find around your house. And um, so let's get started. These balloons are freshly blown up and these balloons are not. <laughs> but uh, you can see that there is some dullness to it, especially here on the top. Um, as these start to oxidize, this brand, um, it gets this little dot on the top. So test the Shine products on here. And so our first product, well our first, yeah, our first product is Armor All. So you guys probably already have Armor All um, in your house if you um, like to, you know, uh, do the upholstery, shine up the upholstery in your car if you have leather seats, or shine up the dashboard in your car. Um, a lot of people use Armor All, this is my husband's. Um, so with this, this is just a, uh, a protectant for um, leather and rubber surfaces. Um, this you can find at Home Depot. So we're gonna test it out on this balloon right here. And there is, yeah, it's all the same. So there's just a spray setting. Okay, it's a little drippy, right? But that's okay. Um, I probably should have a glue on. <laughs> um, so for this, I mean, you can see the difference between this and this. There is a significant amount of shine. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to spread it out, but uh, spread it out with your hand or like a glove or a cloth. But um, but obviously, if you're using this in your car, you that's how you would do it. So this is a heavier, heavy, liquidy, you know, runny type of substance. The next one we're going to do is arm roll as well and all these products um i'll have the description the full name of them in the description down below these products are not sponsored by anybody but i do have affiliate links so um if you want to purchase them from amazon but you could always get these from you know a local AutoZone, any kind of store like that so i'll have like a list of stores too down below um so this is the extreme tire shine so this is specifically for tires and I assume if it's extreme, then it should be even more um, shiny, right? So let's see. Uh oh, okay. And this only has an off and on setting. Okay, that comes out a little differently. Still runny. Um, still shiny, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, this kind of has a smell to it. I should have got a, <laughs> I should have got a cloth or something, but, um, this kind of has a, has a smell to it. I can't really say it's a good or bad smell. It just smells like tires, um, like freshly cleaned tires. So, um, obviously these first two products, oh gosh, obviously these first two products are, um, the same brand, so obviously the texture consistency is pretty much the same. And um, yeah, but these are things that you can find around your house. So if you are in a pinch and you really need to, um, you put your garland up or you put your balloons up and you really need to um, make them shiny or last longer, uh, these are gonna protect. And if you think about it, it's kind of the same concept as when you clean your car. You, these are gonna protect the latex um, texture, the outer texture, and give it shine by giving it moisture. So oxidizing is basically um, the moisture, the suppleness of the balloon on the outside is basically wasting away. Um, so we got two more tips and then a bonus tip, so please don't go anywhere. Hairspray. Um, this is a oil sheen hairspray. It's for moisturizing, conditioning, and body and volume. Um, this is my son's hairspray that he uses. So, and then my husband also uses it for his um, 
for his um, hair clippers to oil them up. So um, this is going to come out. This is an aerosol. It's very similar. Now, if you guys didn't watch my other balloon, how to make balloon shine video where I tested balloon shine versus mega shine, this is an aerosol just like in an aerosol can, just like mega shine. So I want to guess that this is going to be a very, it's already going to be a different texture and consistency, but I really feel like since the Mega Shine one on the other video, that this is gonna probably be the winner of this video. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Y'all, y'all. I, I had to stand back, sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Same, it, it, it's a little harder to come out than the Mega Shine, but um, I like it better than these two right here. Cause now look, as these are drying, this is having streaks. These, um, some of the droplets didn't even sink in and there's some white texture right here. But this is, yeah, it's, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Like, this is awesome. I don't know. I'm just like spraying it. It's, it smells so good. Um, so yeah, so this is very similar to the Mega Shine. Um, it also has a good smell, like the Mega Shine. And, um, and it's an aerosol can, so I'm thinking the mist texture and consistency is probably the best um, to use on balloons. That's my conclusion. Okay, now this next one, I was very surprised to learn about, okay? I already know I need to put a glove on. This next one, we're gonna turn this a little bit so we can do this balloon right here. This next one is something that um, balloon, balloon companies use inside of balloons to keep them afloat when you're using helium, right? But did you know that high float, even though they make, it's for the purpose of making balloons float longer, it also can be used to make balloons shinier longer, okay? So we're gonna try that out. I don't know, I've never used it. I have this high float for um, an event that I did that required helium balloons. So um, it's been sitting maybe for like I don't know, five months, six months. Um, it's kind of this weird, I don't know, oily looking texture. It's kind of like cooking oil or maybe a little thicker than cooking oil. Um, but we'll see, it's a pump action. I put on a glove because I don't know if I'm supposed to be handling this straight up and I don't want to irritate my skin. So I'm putting about, I don't know, quarter size on rubbing it in our hands and we're going to do this balloon right here. So feels like hair gel. Oh, that's sticky. Oh, that's nice. No, 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 that's too thick. I mean, it's not even getting, getting rid of this dot right here. That's really thick. I don't know guys. Mm -mm. No. Uh, okay. I don't know. <coughs> It has a weird smell too. I, that's why I don't like using it in the first place. Okay, so high float is for inside the balloons. Conclusion. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so don't do that one. I do not recommend. I recommend high float for keeping balloons, helium balloons uh, afloat. But I don't recommend it for the purpose of making your balloon shine. Even though it's a great shine. That... Texture and consistency, I can't. I'm sorry. No. Okay, so like I said, there's a fifth tip, a bonus tip. So can anyone guess what it is? I'll give you five seconds to put it in the comments. Okay, so your fifth and final tip is buy shiny balloons. There are a number of balloon manufacturers that make balloons with already a shiny coating on shiny coating on it. So you're gonna get your Bellatex Reflex. Um, those are really good. They're nice. They're 
they're soft when you work with them their necks are really good um, that's a that's a good um, that's a good brand to use if you want to keep your balloons shining longer um, the other thing the brands that you buy you want to blow them up in a cool room the more heat that goes into the balloon it's as if the balloons outside so even if you don't take the balloons outside you're using heat internally into the balloon and you're introducing that heat and those chemi into the chemicals inside the balloon guess what's going to happen it's going to oxidize faster it's heating up from the inside which makes the outside dull so always blow up your balloons in a cool room doesn't matter the brand and it'll keep its shine and texture so we're going to move this next to our other balloons so you guys can see the comparison of the shine now these are qualitex uh these are qualitex uh black pearl onyx pearl i think and then these are Tuftex metallic blue so there is some shine okay and there is some shine there right like there is some significant shine there so if you guys are um i think it all depends on what you guys need the balloon shiny for look even with even with the hairspray look it's dry already it didn't even last these are still shiny i would say maybe the tire shine is the best right here at the bottom i just need to maybe water it down to get the bubbles to blend in but i feel like the winner of these four shines would be the tire shine i had i had hope for the for the hairspray but it really dried out really quickly like it don't even look like i sprayed anything on it what that's crazy okay so yeah so compared to the balloons that already came with the shine on them i mean i still like the pre shiny balloons i don't know about you guys but i think you shouldn't have to add any shine but if you do um overall comparing the two videos i would say mega shine is still in a very very high lead and then maybe if you are in a pinch you can use this tire shine just dilute it a little bit or the balloon shine brand from the previous video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn how to make um, the columns the bar columns that I made then uh, check out the link in the description and I'll see you guys next time